Hi, thanks for coming. In this video, I'm going to show you how to sketch the various displacement time graphs for damped oscillations. We'll start off with the underdamped oscillation. To sketch a damped oscillation, uh, there are two things we have to do first. First, we mark out uh, equal time intervals correspond to one period, two periods, and three periods, and so on. Next, I'm going to sketch the decay envelopes. They are supposed to be exponential decays. So, something like this. And I'm going to draw another one on the negative side. So, as I said, these two lines are supposed to be exponential decay graphs. And so they, they should be mirror images of each other. So what we have to do next is simply to fit in the oscillations. So within each one period, I'm going to draw one uh, cosine wave. Oops. Alright, now let's try to draw another underdamped oscillation, but uh, with a bit stronger damping, but, but it's still underdamped, it's not critically damped yet. So if we increase the amount of damping, uh, two things will happen. Firstly, the period of the oscillations is going to be uh, larger. So compared to last time, which has a period of this, this long, maybe um, it's going to be this long. And if we increase the amount of damping, then the decay is going to happen at a faster rate. So we are going to draw a steeper decay graph. Same on the other side. So these two are supposed to be mirror images of each other. Now let's squeeze in the oscillations. So again, one cosine wave in each period. Let's move on to a critically damped oscillation. Critical damping occurs when the damping is just enough to kill off the oscillation completely. So there's no more oscillation to talk about. So in fact, that is quite meaningless to talk about period anymore because there's not going to be any more uh, oscillation. But from theory, we know that when it's critically damped, the oscillation will be brought to rest very quickly in just about one period. But as I said, it's actually no, no longer uh, an oscillation. If you go beyond critical damping, we are at what's called overdamping. It just means that the oscillation will take longer time to be brought to rest compared to critical damping. Okay, that's all. Ta-ta!